All right, so we are gonna start on the InShot part five now, All right? And this is gonna be the last thing that we do on this block, uh, unless something drastic changes. Uh, and then everything from this point on is gonna be on the Derby car. Um, but everything on the Derby car that we'll be doing, uh, we will have already done on these blocks for the most part. Um, you know, you got your engraving, you got your tapping, you've got your, your contours, you've got all that sort of stuff. Um, so right now for the InShot part five, we're going to get into a little bit more 3D, uh, talk about a couple different strategies and things like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to work on this side here, right? So go ahead and save your InShot part four as in shop part five. Uh, you can see I've already done that. And to do that, obviously it's file, save as, and then in shop part five. Um, all right, so <clears throat> for this, like I said, we're gonna be working on this side here. So I'm gonna jump back over here to, let me get rid of this and open my screen up a little bit. Go back to design. And first things first, we're going to open up a sketch. I'm going to do a rectangle. All right, so I'm going to go center rectangle. Open that up, and let's see, let's make that, you know, three inches this way. And then let's go, uh, let's see what 2.5 does. All right, 2.5 is a little bit too much. So we will just go two, okay? And that should be just fine. And we're gonna do a little bit of an island. So I'm gonna press C for circle. I'm gonna draw a little bit of an island right there in the middle. Going to dimension that. At, let's just say 0.5, okay? So then I'm going to click E for extrude. We're going to carry this down, you know, 500 thousandths. So minus 0.5. Okay. So now we're going to go in and add some fillets. So modify fillets. I'm going to start with these on the corners. Right, more than likely, we're going to be using, like, let's say a quarter inch end mill for this. So as long as our fillets are bigger than, um, well, actually, I take that back. We'll be using a three-eighths ball mill for this. We'll go over that here in a little bit. But as long as our fillets are bigger than uh, 0.1875, will be fine using a, a 3 8 10 mil. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set these to 0.25. Okay, so those fillets are 0.25. And then I'm gonna add another selection set, which is gonna be here, 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 here. And we'll go ahead and do this one as well. <clears throat> and we will set those to 0.5. Oh, I'm sorry, 0.25. So it's going to look something like that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to remove that selection set and I'm going to create another one. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. And we'll set that to 0.25. Sorry, kind of going back, redoing something. I'm going to change, change direction here a little bit. Do one more uh, selection set. And I'm going to set that one to 0.5. Okay, so I want that to come to a, a, a perfect little point like that. See, if I set that to 480, you see I've got a little bit of a flat there. So let's just go ahead and set that to 0.5. Being into pockets 0.5 deep, that makes it blend perfectly. All right, 
also makes it blend perfectly right there. And then we will go OK. So we've got that drawn, and we've got one more thing that we want to draw over here. I'm going to open up a sketch. I'm going to start with a line. I'm going to draw a line just like that. Draw it up just like that. And if you notice, everything is uh, everything is loose now. Everything is unconstrained. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dimension this at let's just say two inches. Okay. And then we'll dimension from here to here as 0.625. All right, now notice that, that I don't have anything holding it left and right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I know that I want this pocket centered, this little shelf here. I know that I want this centered. So I'm going to grab the line tool and all I'm doing is clicking L for the line tool. It's a little bit of a shortcut. And I'm going to start the line right here on the center. I'm going to drag it up here and snap it to that line. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to do is make this vertical. But it can still move. So, I, what I told it is I wanted this line attached to it but I didn't tell it where I wanted it attached. So I'm going to click that endpoint. Very important that you click the endpoint and then control and click that line and I'm going to set to midpoint. So now what I've done is I've constrained it to where this is always going to be in the center. All right? Pretty simple concept. But doing things like this can surely save you a lot of time. All right, so from here, I'm simply going to E for extrude. I'm going to cut this out. And let's go ahead down to 750. Well, let me edit that one. And let's go negative 750. Make sure you set that to cut. So you should have something like that. All right, we're gonna go in and fill it. These corners like that. And we will set that to, let's go 0.5 on those. We do another selection set. Select here, here, and here, and we will set those to 0.25. Okay, got a nice, neat little pocket there, uh, fillets all around it, very machinable, um, looks nice. Okay, and then okay. All right, and those selection sets that I did on the fillets, that, that's something that I've recently started doing. Um, that I used to just do fillets by themselves. I would do this fillet, you know, as its own kind of separate entity. And then I would do these fillets as their own separate entity. You know, that, and, but now I'm, I'm trying to keep everything condensed. So if I want to change the fillets that are inside of this pocket, I can simply go right here, edit, and there's everything that I need right there. Okay. You know, I, I don't have, I don't, I'm not filling up my timeline with, with, with stuff. Okay. So there's that. And that's, that's pretty much all the uh, CAD that we're going to do on this one. All right, the next thing we're going to do is CAM. Um, now, I know that once we get into the CAM, we're going to need to come back to CAD to do a few things, to, 
to set a few um, to set a few um, boundaries and things like that. So we will be coming back to CAD, but this is um, th this is uh, pretty much it for for drawing the part. All right, go ahead and save it. And the next video is going to be the CAM video.